What's up guys, in this video we're going to talk about WordPress versus Weebly and which platform you should use to start your blog. I'm Andy, you're watching Learn How. In this video I want to give a comment shout out to Otter Bandana. Thank you so much for leaving a comment on my video. It really means a lot to me. Let's get to the content of this video. You're thinking of starting a blog and you're trying to decide between WordPress, Weebly, which one should I go with? First of all, let's talk about what is WordPress. WordPress is one of the most popular platforms to build a website today. Some of the biggest websites in the world, the New York Times, ESPN, Facebook, are all built on WordPress. So WordPress powers a majority of the internet and it is a free open source software, meaning that it's free to use, but you have to pay for self-hosting. The method that I recommend is to create a self-hosted WordPress site through the hosting provider SiteGround. I talk all about it on my website, learnhowblogging.com. I've got a link right below this video that will take you right here to this website where you can learn about how to start a WordPress blog with SiteGround. But why might you consider starting a blog with Weebly? Well, let's talk about some of the differences between Weebly and WordPress so you can kind of weigh and compare. Designing your website or blog with WordPress is a little bit more challenging than using something like Weebly. Weebly is comparable to Wix. It's drag and drop. You can drag things wherever you want on the screen. WordPress isn't that simple. There are hundreds, thousands of themes that you can use but you usually have to abide by the theme preset. So wherever things appear on the theme, that's where your text or your images are going to appear. You're gonna need a little bit of coding knowledge if you wanna really customize WordPress. But for most of us, there's a lot of themes out there that look nice and we can just play within the bounds of the theme. Weebly, like I said, very customizable. They probably win in the design aspect if you wanna go for really beautiful, easy to create yourself, blog, Weebly would probably be the winner. As far as hosting goes, WordPress by far is a much smarter option than Weebly. Weebly is hosted on their own platform, meaning Weebly servers host your blog. You have to abide by their rules. If they don't like it, they can shut down your website or blog at any time. If you want to transfer your website later on, it is very difficult and technical to do so. I think they do that on purpose, but it, it, it's not as personal and beneficial to host your blog with someone like that, that pretty much controls your blog. When you host your self-hosted blog with someone like SiteGround, you own 100% of your blog. No one can shut you down except maybe the government, but no one can you know, take away your content, steal your content, you control everything with your blog or website, so WordPress definitely wins in the hosting factor. As far as like features go, uh, what you can do with your blog or website. Weebly does have plugins and features you can use to you know, customize things, uh, build an email list, that sort of stuff. But WordPress has literally thousands upon thousands of plugins to use. You can literally do whatever you want with a WordPress website. If you can think of it, there's a plugin for it. There's a plugin to build membership sites. There's a plugin to sell things. There's a plugin for SEO. There's all sorts of plugins for WordPress and a lot of them are free. And there are some paid plugins you can use that are very, very powerful that can really take your blog or website to the next level. As far as selling things, I know that Weebly does promote themselves heavily with Square as far as selling products through their website. But with Weebly, you're gonna end up paying a transaction fee and on top of that, you're gonna have to pay the payment the payment processor fee. So if you're using Square or Stripe or whatever, you're gonna have to pay their fee and Weebly's fee. If you do decide to use WordPress to sell a product online, you're, you're just gonna pay the payment provider fee. There is no WordPress fee. So if you use Stripe or PayPal or whatever, you'll just be paying that provider fee. So it's a lot, uh, it's, a, it's cheaper to sell things through a WordPress site than through a Weebly site. And like I said, if you want to transfer your site, if you want to transfer it to a different hosting provider, if you want to move it around, it's so much easier if you have a WordPress website. Building your site on Wix, on Weebly, on Squarespace, on these platforms, it's very difficult to move later on. So if you do realize, hey, this can't do what I want it to do, I'm going to move to WordPress, it is a really big hassle to do that. And it's very technical, so it's something that I don't recommend, which is why I highly recommend everyone just start off with WordPress. It's usually cheaper, 
a lot more customization options. Uh, it's safer, you get better SEO results. It's just a better platform for anyone who's looking to start a blog. So like I said, I've got a link right below this video with instructions to help you and guide you step-by-step step through my recommended method of starting a blog on WordPress. It's one of the best methods out there today. Uh, I've tried a lot of different methods. So this is the one that I highly recommend for those who are just getting started with their blog. All right, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up for me. Leave me a comment. Let me know what blog you're thinking of starting, what your topic is, what questions you have. Feel free to browse around my YouTube channel for some more videos to help you learn how to use technology to build an online business and create a life of freedom. I'm Andy, you're watching Learn How. We'll see you in the next video.